Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jersey and today we are gonna be building at Windmill. I'm so excited to be back in LEGO Fortnite to bring you another build, another way to create in my own version of a windmill. Now, this is a big project, you know, as we're gonna start it. And one of the first things that I want to do is as I keep structuring my village, right? My town, my area, my base, you know, there's so many names that people call these areas, right? But as we start this, you know, I, I decided that there's a lot of stuff that I really wanna do. But at the same time, I be learning that there's build limit. Oh my gosh, why are there build limits? I don't know why. Don't like that. Don't like that at all because I have to like redo so many things. But as you can see, we I'm kind of working on my farm area, right? I think that's where my inspiration is coming from. That's where I'm going to be expanding. And from here now, we're going to be branching out the village, right? So there's going to be a lot of restructuring. So when you come to the live stream, you're going to notice that we are working a lot. A lot of stuff behind the scenes at the same time, but we're going to be changing. But today is the windmill. So one of the most important things to do in the windmill is make sure you're in a flat area, right? If you don't have a flat area normally, then use foundation. Use a foundation, find the place that you want, and I'm gonna warn you right now, uh, make sure that, that you're kinda far away from other buildings because this is gonna require a lot of pieces and you're gonna run into build limit. You know, uh, it happened to me, I had to keep destroying areas of the village, just things that were close to this particular build, that way I can have the room. So I hope one day this goes away, this build limit is not good for us builders, right? That we want to create stuff, right? But as you can see, so, all right. So the, the great thing about the windmill, as you're watching this, uh, pick the pieces that you want, pick the color that you want, go in the way you want this windmill to look. Uh, I'm keeping it with the aesthetic brown because that's what the farm, I'm using the same pieces. I want this to match the barn that we just did, right? And the farming area. So I'm keeping it with the same aesthetic, but if you like this, take the idea, take the design and use all the pieces that you want. But as you can see, I'm using the, the pillars just to create this structure here. Now, uh, like always, uh, depending how big you want the windmill to be, right? If you want the windmill to be even wider and bigger and more epic, then just kind of double the measurements, right? Uh, so uh, not maybe the pillars per se, but maybe the space between the pillars. And that's how you're gonna get your new width, right? And then everything just gets adds to, like these little sections over here that we're using to make the little corners and then have the pillars again, then go ahead and maybe do a little bit more uh, double the corners if you need to and then add the pillars and the pillars is just for aesthetic is is what's going to give it this little shape that I want now this is going to be part one part one of the windmill because at the end we finally got the structure and then we're going to add really cool details and stuff like that on part two but for now and I'm going to say there I left a lot of in because I want you to see this is building survival there's a lot of ways that you need to do to how to approach this, making ladders, making this to get way up high. So again, you don't have to make the windmill as high as I did it. You can go a little lower if you want to. You can make it smaller. You can make it even bigger than what I did. So it's gonna be up to you which way and what route you wanna go. But as you can see, once we get this sequence down, right? Uh, this sequence right here that we're working on. So we got, uh, we got the pillars and I made it kind of thick on purpose because I want the other, um, foundation you know the other support that's gonna go on the top and you're gonna see uh what i mean it's gonna go on the top and we're gonna keep adding this and adding this and we're gonna go keep going higher now i'm gonna warn you i'm gonna give you a little heads time uh I did want it to make it functional windmill. You know, I've been uh, getting the idea from different people using the parts and it broke twice on me. So, uh, so for now, for now in part one, I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna see it. We, uh, we're, we're going to make it, but maybe in part two, we make it more functional. But right now at the end, we just made it to be more an aesthetic piece. But okay, as you can see, now we're doing the next foundation over here. We're doing the next piece we add in here. So in the middle right now, at first, I didn't think I want any door opening. So as you can see, we, we're leaving the brick in, right? We're leaving all this brick, but I did eventually, they change that for doors. And you know, the windmill goes to different 
versions, right? As you're building, like always, you're you're building, you're thinking out loud, you're thinking things that you want to do, and the build the the build evolves, right? Uh, as you continue to do this. Now, as you can see. I'm in survival, so this is not uh, sandbox mode. We can fly. is is a little bit trickier when you're building big structures like this. Uh, one of the things that I started learning is how where to put myself in different areas, how to you know approach the build and how to look because it's not it's not that you can be close, right? And the higher you go, the higher you need the stairs. And at some point, you're gonna see we got so many stairs. Also, that wasn't helping the build limit. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, this build limit is, is, it was a little bit, I will say it, I will say it, you know, there, there, there's no hiding it. It's a little frustrating when you have this build limit and Lego, Fortnite, developers, if you're listening, uh, we need this to go away. We, we, you know, this, this game could be the next big thing, an amazing thing for creators, you know, to keep creating amazing things, but this build limit it's a little struggle. Now, uh, another fun part of the build limit is being able to build something and keep building in a village with build limits. So, I mean, I mean, I see amazing things. I don't know how people are doing it, but I'm slowly gonna figure it out, right? As we continue to build, as we continue to develop all these new things, you know, uh, sections here, we're gonna see it. But as you can see, uh, I built now the second platform. So the second platform, I knew I wanted kind of windows, but I didn't want like the cabin windows. So uh, we found these uh, doors or, or window panels, and I really like that. And especially at night, it looks like a little bit glowing. So that's what I, I started using. And I, I really like the look. It matches with everything that we're doing in this town, because uh, slowly, slowly, we, you're gonna see, I'm gonna start using more of this panel in this particular village. So I, I, I want the village to feel together like it belongs together it could be different type of wood different type of tones uh, maybe it's some roofing here and there are different and the windmill will definitely have a different roof we're not going to use the one that has the cabins we're going to be using more of the plain gray one right so okay so here's one I, I fell in <laughs> inside here and i noticed oh my gosh i need a door because if i keep falling in i need a way to get out right so i did make a door and then that's when i made the door i started opening the idea like okay i think I want more doors going all the way around. So you're gonna see that eventually we're gonna restructure that and we're gonna make it better. But as you can tell, uh, I'm still gonna go higher, you know, and we're gonna keep going higher and keep adding the windows, keep adding the foundation until we get to the point with the windmill. So just be patient, right? Uh, you, uh, you're gonna be building ladders. So have a lot of wood, you know, if you're doing this, you know, one of the reasons I chose this, you can go a little more elegant or maybe a, a fancier and stuff like that. But at this moment, the reason I'm using this one is because it only costs one. One to do a lot of this stuff. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was going to be simple, something that wasn't going to cost a lot. Uh, over here, I'm, I'm going to add something different. So as you can see in the corners, we added the, the little... Uh, little column effects, right? But now the next two that I want to add, I wanted to have a little bit different. So I find in this support being to have like these little archways and I wanted to do something with decorating with that, but that's going to be on part two, right? Part two is going to be a lot of decorating, a lot of the add-ons. Right now we're working on the big structure of the windmill. All right. So we continue to, add, uh, I'm trying to figure out what's the right height that I want uh, because I, I want this windmill to be seen from far away from the village from where you kind of come in or any angle or any structure so i really want it to be high you know so that way it feels epic and then i want the windmill blades to be big now when we come to the end and with the blades of the windmill i think i i i like what i did but i think i want to do on part two now this is this this is when it's a little sad that you you don't have a safe in your local computer because you know sometimes you want to try something and if you don't like it you wish you could just reload your last save file so you don't have to re redo everything undo it break it down uh so i don't know maybe in the future they do a mechanic that you can do undo undo i don't know maybe there's things but if not it's always going to be a challenge and it's a challenge that i'll take it i'll take it we'll do it we'll struggle we'll fight with it but it'll make us better builders, right? Uh, no going back. We got to do it, right? Okay, so as you can see, we're, we're, we're going higher. We're getting to a level that I feel like, I feel like this could be a good height. So once I found the height that I felt like this, this was what I wanted, because as you can see, I can see like the whole village, right? So I'm like, okay, so now let's make the foundation of the platform where the big mechanical system, you know, and how we're going to make the windmill illusion happen, right? So... So the first thing I added the foundation that I that I wanted and 
and I went ahead with the granite just to give it a little bit of different, just li different little look for now. And that way I can see what I'm doing and what I'm gonna break. And then I needed to decide how did I want it to approach the wall, you know, uh, because we gotta make the foundation fall into us and then we gotta push it and then keep it center, right? And that's gonna be the tricky part. And, and you're gonna see that the more that I tried it, the more that I did it, uh, I figure out a way to do it and it was hanging, but go back three and we're gonna see that in the video, right? It took me a couple tries to figure out and you may struggle with this. You may struggle depending how big you went, where's your foundation, how much room you have, what kind of way you decided to go with your windmill. But I do like it, I like this. So on the other thing that I figured out is height matters. The how high you go in this particular place is gonna help you for uh, make the platform uh, fall, right? And that's gonna pour. So here, here it is. And, and this is my first test, like, okay, no, <laughs> it fell, the ladder's in the way, this is not gonna work, right? So we gotta do this. Now, it's a lot easier. The people that I've seen doing this, they do it on sandbox, and it's so easy, but when you do it on survival, and this is all survival, so, you know, you're gonna see it firsthand, like, and here we got again, uh, I noticed that, man, I can't push it in the middle, it fell, it broke, and I'm like, my goodness, this struggle is real. You know, survival, and survival's fun. So I was one, you know, it, ju it just makes it more epic. Okay, so here I'm trying new things. Here I put it again, it did not fail. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I put it too much back. And it's finding that fine balance, right? So uh, pretty soon you're gonna see that I did find out, you know, by pushing it. Uh, at first I was putting a line in the front, push it too back and let it fall. So, and I almost got it. So I figured out that I need to go just with three. So when you put it at the edge, then push it back three. And then when it falls, you catch it, you push it in the center, and then it be all better. And there we go. We pushed it. We got it dead center. Make sure that everything is even on both sides, right? And then the next thing that you want to do, because there are some physics in, in Lego, right? You put things in. If you don't hold it, especially on this kind of platforms like this, it'll move around. So, so we got to brace it. Uh, so basically, we're just doing a couple barriers over here just to make sure it doesn't fall and doesn't move around and wanna keep it nice and steady. And now, now that we got this platform, right? And this platform is the, one of the most important things. You see people building amazing things because of these platforms, right? They're, they're so important. Now, when you're concentrating, you, you see this? I left this on purpose. Uh, sometimes you're concentrating so much that you don't even see the hunger. Now, when I play usually Lego, sitting at home building, I don't even, I don't, I don't have my headphones on. I'm playing with no sound. <laughs> so I didn't even know I was hungry. So, and it's gonna happen again very soon because I forgot to eat. I came back, I was in a row. I knew what I wanted to do. So I'm on fire. I'm like, yes, this is what I wanna do. This is what I wanna build. And I wasn't paying attention. So at some point, uh, it's gonna happen again. And we're gonna, you know, it's gonna respawn. Uh, but okay, so now the most important part, if we're gonna use the one block, we're gonna have it come out in this direction this way, you know, because this is the next part. So make sure that this this piece is centered to the platform. Now we're gonna go about, uh, we're gonna go about 10 out, you know, uh, you can make it 12, you can make it less, just depending how far you want it. I found like around 10, 10 or 12, it's a really good spot depending how big you want it to go. Of course, this could be different depending on the windmill you make. If you make it smaller, then maybe you want a little bit closer. Or, or if you went making the windmill uh, uh, sections even bigger, then maybe you want it to be a little far apart. So it's gonna be trial and error. But after that, then what you wanna do is go three from the top, right? You saw it, one, two, three, and then go with a platform around it. Now, this is the mechanical section that is to show you how to make it functional. Now, I already said it in the video, this broke on me twice. <laughs> I could not get it just right. I didn't have all the materials I need to go, get thrusters and all that. So in part two, Part two, we'll try to make this work, right? Uh, so by the end of the video, what I decided to do is make everything and then worry about later on to make it functional. So, but at the moment, uh, if, if you were following this along and hopefully it doesn't break on you, then you put the wheels, you put that little uh, piece in the middle that's gonna go around, right? Uh, and that piece, uh, you get it from the fencing. So you're gonna get it on the fencing, you're gonna get it, you're gonna put it, make sure it's centered to also to the square. And then this other piece, as you can see right here, that you put on the front, that wasn't center, center just yet. So I needed to get up there, break it, and then, 
uh, put a center. And as you can see, I keep falling. Now, another thing that you may be wondering is like, why is not using his glider? Well, I forgot that I had the glider. Uh, I did figure out later on, and instead of just jumping down and taking hit, I figure out I have the, uh, I have a glider. Okay, so as you can see, we broke it down. We put it right in the center. So now everything's gray. So I'm like, okay, great. And now this is when you survival. You see how many stairs we gotta build all over the place, breaking down, adding again, breaking down, adding again. So now we adding the wings over here just to make sure that we have the right span, how big do we want it. So again, put it right in the middle. Also at, at the end in the video, you're gonna see that I did change my design and we went with a different thing. But I think on part two, I may even do another design that I've been thinking of on the wings just to make it maybe a little bit better. But this, at least temporarily, I needed to see how this was looking and it's looking pretty good, you know, especially from far away when you go from far away. So I, I need a couple more uh, granite because I ran out, you know, uh, I wanted the wings to uh, the wings of the windmill to be a little bit of different uh, color, but I ended up going then again with brown and with a couple changes, you see it more at the end and we were going to do it. So I figured that I wanted to be a little more uh, expanded a little bit more. So I, I felt like they needed to be a little longer and I still feel feel to the end of this video i feel like they need to be a little bit bigger uh that's why on part two we're going to concentrate a lot more of the detailed work of this particular bill i think it's going to look amazing at the end the way um part two is going to look like but let's not talk about part two we're on part one right and part one is the most important part okay so now now i gotta get higher here uh we gotta keep expanding the ladders you can see we're adding more i feel like now the wing, the span looks really good i feel like now it looks better than what i had so okay so now we break this piece over here in the front now that was make us now flop now things can move around everything's looking good everything's working great and then over here is where you're supposed to put the thruster in each of the wings you put the mechanical switch and then you got something running right and then you frame everything. Uh, I didn't have all the parts that I needed to to make it work. Uh, and so what I decided is uh, I was gonna say, well, at least everything is there. I can come back and add it. So let me restructure <laughs> now and hide all of this because we, we wanna make this looks pretty, right? Right now, the top of the windmill doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. So we need to fix all this, right? So again, we're gonna build, keep building what we build underneath it. We're gonna build it on the top. Now, this is again, Depending how you're doing it, what you're building, how you, your detail, your decoration, what beams, what support units, everything that you're doing, it could be a little bit different than mine, right? But as you can see, uh, I slowly, I was breaking things slowly away, breaking this over here, breaking this over here, try to make a shape. But at the end, this is when you need to be careful when you're aiming, because I thought I was aiming at the right thing and I actually broke the platform and the whole windmill fell and oh and that hurt it hurt so much because you do all this work there's no save you can't go back on your save uh there's nothing there's no undo there's nothing you can do but to rebuild it again and then guys it just didn't happen once it happened twice so i'm leaving it in so a lot, of, a lot of this, once it breaks, you can actually fast forward if you want to a little bit, or if you join the video and join, and join the commentary, right? Uh, everything that we're going through and struggles and all of that, then, then it's good. You know, learn from my mistakes. I think that's one of the most important things, you know, uh, learn, make sure everything's good, you know? Um, again, now the other thing that I wanna do, I wanna speak about is not everything has to be functional, right? You don't have to make this windmill that actually turns because in, it, there's no purpose unless you just want it for aesthetic and climb all the way over here and make a turn. So at the end, the final version is very steady, right? It's not for it to turn. Okay, so right here, see, I'm aiming, I'm aiming, I've seen the white dot, and then I broke the foundation. Even though it was breaking in the top, it also somehow, it broke my platform and everything fell down. And I'm telling you, it was heartbreaking. It was so heartbreaking. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, so yeah, it broke. So here we go. So I had to break everything down. So here's the second attempt. Now this is the second attempt. I, read, I, I decided, okay, I'm gonna make a better build 
everything's gonna be framed and that way I don't have to break it I'm putting my my foundation here again as you notice it's not right center so I need to break this pillar push it in make sure it's centered the most important this platform has to be centered to make everything look centered right uh, and here's my second attempt we're gonna try to build this real quick so I'm not gonna go to the whole process once again and uh, the editing here is gonna you know jump in different areas but it just kind of show you again to not give up you know this is my message to you do not give up on your build you know now it's stressful it broke it's sad you know you may need a break <laughs> you may need to walk away and come back a little later do something else you know if your frustration is high uh then come back but as you can see you know we're slowly building back up show you that you know we can't give up we can't give up right so i'm almost there we're putting the two uh uh, center pieces right here you need two of those then you're gonna connect it again to the middle and all of that now this again it broke it broke I I don't know what happened I don't know so so the first time that I was doing it it was very steady right it was very steady it was really good everything was working great now the second time you're gonna notice in the video now this is already sped up so I don't know if you'll be able to see it but the platform in the back was tilting forward more so I don't know what happened there so I was trying to kind of do a, another re reinforcing the platform before something happened. And I was laying the squares that was going to kind of attach to the top frame that I'm going to be building that you're going to see it very soon. Everything broke. The back wall broke. Everything broke. I don't know if it was a glitch. I don't know if it was something with faces. I don't know if I was putting too much weight. But as you can see, I'm speeding to the process here. Still showing you just in case you missed it the first one. You still want to see how this section is being built. You can to see it a little bit right over here. But we go to the most important part. We're going to make sure that this square here is the middle. And again, all of this is done in survival. No flying. No this. You got to collect all the research. I want to say thank you to my community. You know, my community that comes here, you know, that we're building this world together. Uh, they're amazing. You know, they're, uh, they come in, they're like, hey, we're going to take care of this stuff. You get to building. And I'm like, thank you so much. You know, now here's when we hear some of the building disabled. And yeah, that's the building disabled. That's so sad. Uh, I wasn't noticing it just yet, you know, and some sections when you get to this side, it won't let you. The other side was saying that it was good. So I'm hitting some limit in the spacing in some different ways. I'm still trying to understand more of this, how this works, you know, because I wish it would tell me. I wish it would tell me where, what zone I'm on, how many pieces you got left to do. But OK, but, you know, we, we'll deal with it, right? So as you can see, we broke the piece, but you see how the platform now went a little higher. And then the platform on the top is struggling. It's like smoking a little bit or making like the click sound. I don't know, something didn't work out as great. Maybe I went too, too long. It, I don't know, maybe there was too much weight in the front. It wasn't doing what it needed to do. Uh, but as you can see, I'm breaking the platform. You see how the platform is going forward. So I got scared of that. So I was like, okay, wait. Let me somehow reinforce this. And as I, I'm gonna be breaking the wall, but I don't want this to go more forward. So I wanted to add more squares in the front on top of this brown foundation here. And I was adding it, it broke it. Everything broke. And I was like, what, what? And then the back wall broke, the foundation broke, and the windmill falling. <laughs> and then this is when I decided, you know what? This build video is taking a lot longer. So I'm gonna build it, but we're not gonna make it for spinning. So as you can see, I didn't put no wheels. We're not going to break anything. We're just going to make this going to be aesthetic windmill for now. For now, I do want to figure out. I do want to make it work if we can. But if not, then it's still going to look good, right? It's, it's still a place because even if it, we made it functional, I still needed to figure out a way to get up here so we can flip the switch every single time you want to show it up because you can't fly. This is survival, right? So so you always got to think a little bit more. But right now, we just made it for more aesthetic. So I rebuilt everything once again, you know, and now I'm kind of a little bit expert building this particular windmill after you do it so many times, right? <laughs> but but here we go. So we build it. We got it. So now we finally, now we got to create the top. You know, I want the top to be a little bit higher. So it's going to be like a one more square and then one more little bit skinnier on the top so we can have that height difference so it looks really good from far away 
And that's when I was trying to figure out, okay, wait, how am I gonna approach this? Uh, do I want to make a floor? Do I want to keep going? Do I want to put the walls now? Like this is the top. The, the, this is where the, a lot of the design at the end is going to come, you know? Do I want to start working on the roof? Do I want us to do it? And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm living, and this is sped up. And this is when I was trying to figure out. So I was like, okay, what do I want to do? You know, but uh, I think I decided to go, you know, I, I decided what kind of roof do I wanted to go. So we we definitely wanted to go different. And that was my other choice. I didn't want to go with the blue. I didn't want it to look like the village. Uh, uh, and I like the aesthetic of the gray that we've been adding. And I think that's something going forward we're going to try to do in the part two design. Just add a little more of this nice gray that I really like that looks goes really well with this brown. So, OK, so I decided to go with the roof. So I'm trying to figure out how to build a roof. Right. And everything is just pieces connecting. And in here, uh, you know, when you're concentrating, you see that message on the top. Building is disabled. I was trying to figure out, like, what happened? And yeah, yeah, the building was disabled. So that was no good. So I had to break more things down in, around my village. And that's the other thing. Right. So maybe it would have been easy to start a brand new village somewhere else. But I take it as a challenge, as a challenge, because we're building this farm that I, I, is, is one of the first thing <laughs> that I'm normally not a farm guy when it comes to designing uh, building farm. But there's something about it that I really wanted to go after. We did the pergola, we did the barn, so now I wanted to add the windmill. Now, a lot of things are gonna change. That cabin in the middle is gonna go away because we're running out of limits. We wanna push that a little more back, more a little more out of the way. I wanna make another farm in this section over here, kind of what we did before. So that's something that we're gonna work on and trying to do something a little bit cooler, a little bit unique, so keep an eye on that. That's also gonna come, so if you need more ideas and uh, just wait to do things, you know, and then put your own spin, you know, you know, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe so you can enjoy it, you know, and all the future stuff, uh, that stuff that's coming. Okay, so over here, like always, is trying to build a roof, right? And what are the pieces, what's the sequence, and this is the, the part that you need to figure out. It's going to be a lot of try and error, right? And depending on the width that you went, if you went wider than me, smaller than I did, it's going to be very different. So when it comes to the roofing, I'm going to tell you, please do not give up. Do not give up. Try, try, keep trying, keep trying until you figure out. You know, sometimes you're going to have to break the pieces again, move it just a little bit, just just one click one way, and then you got to do it one click on the way. And like I'm doing right now, I'm just moving one click, and then I got to move the other piece one click. But then once we do that, we can make it all fit. And that's my advice, you know, when it comes to any roofing, any building that you're doing, because you never know how it's going to work now. Uh, I've heard other people like uh, work on your roof first and then work on the knee so you don't struggle as much. Uh, for me, it's, I can't work on the roof first. I can't just build the frame, put the roof and then work on the detail. Uh, I'm, I'm building from the ground up and that usually, unless I can figure out a better way <laughs> how to handle the roof, my advice right now will be to, you know, stay, stay calm, right? Try different pieces. It's a puzzle. It's going to take you a moment to figure it out. Do not give up. Do not get stressed, even though uh, I'm telling you, I'm going to be honest. That's why I left a lot of this in. It, I was a little stressful. <laughs> I was a little stressed because things, especially when it broke twice. Oh my goodness. That was, that was no good. That was no good. But I didn't give up. We continued to do it. And, and I promise you, a lot of us, you know, all those amazing videos that you're seeing, I know a lot of people struggled, you know, and I left it in on purpose, you know. In the future, I'm not going to leave every single mistake. We're early in Lego. I want to encourage all of you to not give up, you know. It's, you know, I don't want people to be like, oh, wow, he did that so quickly, looks so nice, and all that. You know, through editing, everything can look so great, and it was built so quickly. But, you know, in the first couple of videos, uh, I just want you guys to see that it, it takes time. It takes time to do something great. It takes time, you know, to come up. We're in the early, early life in this amazing game, right? And we wanted to get better. There's a lot of limitations, you know, and but the builds that are coming out out there. Amazing creators and people are doing amazing things, you know, you know, and it's just the creativity, you know, uh, it's how you want to build, how you want to create, right? And you can express yourself in so many different ways, you know? And that's the, that's the most important part, right? Is, is you don't have to be the best. You don't have to be the greatest. Uh, build what you want, enjoy it, build it, play, and do Lego the way you want to do, right? Uh, it's great to watch amazing builds. It's great to watch. This could be too complicated. I tried to make it as simple as I could, but this could be too complicated for so many of you, you know, but the idea behind it is for you to be inspired that you can create it. You can create this truly. You can create this and go too high. 
you can make it smaller. You can literally make it smaller, make a little more compact, make a little more functional and make it nice. All right, so now the next part, you know, I, I got the first part of the roof done and but I was not liking it the way the windmill was looking in the front. So I wanted to add a little more, more flair to it, you know, something that looks a little better. So I was trying to figure out how from far away it could look a little better. Now, I, I'm gonna be honest, I think I have another idea to try for this section that we're working on right here for, for the next part. I think it may look better, but that's the thing. It's so scary because you already got it done. You got a new idea. You may want to try it, but it's like, ooh, do I want to? Because I gotta take all this down, try it. If I don't like it, I need to rebuild. And that's when I wish we had a, like a little save file. So then you can just load back yourself. But I understand this is an online service game. So it's not, so we, I still, I believe in part two, I'm gonna try to attempt it. I, of course, I have not filmed that part yet. So uh, that's gonna be coming up. Hopefully I get to work on that uh, very soon and maybe, just maybe uh it will look better and if if not then it's gonna be this final one that we have here i had to rebuild it right uh but but yeah but okay so i, I noticed a couple of things i needed to change so we broke it off we're taking it down getting all our pieces back and we're gonna restructure and this is uh again this is the part of lego that it is it is fun guys i want you to know i am having so much fun Coming up with idea is a whole different way to design, to build, uh, and to approach the game. It takes a moment to think. It takes a moment to, you know, and don't give up. That's my biggest thing. Do not give up. Take time. Take breaks, you know. Don't get frustrated. If you love designing, if you love building, the creative aspect of this game, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing once you continue to master. I do feel like I'm building a little bit quicker, right? Yeah, uh, you guys know at the beginning, it was very frustrating. If you've seen the first couple videos, you know, uh, it, it, it is frustrating. You you wanna, <laughs> you, you want things to work. You don't wanna be so far away, you wanna be close. But the more you play, the more you understand the mechanics, the more you're understanding how to, the camera works, where you need to be and stuff like that. Especially in survival, that there there's no flying, you can get close, you can't just move around, be right underneath it. You know, you gotta figure out ways, like right now, look, look at all the ladders that we gotta build in the air just to be able to play things where we want it, right? And that's and that's the key. That's the key is it's just gonna be trial and error, putting yourself in a good spot and then know that you're gonna have to break it down again and move the ladder backwards because now you're too close and that's what you're gonna do. Back and forth, back and forth. That's what's gonna be. Now over here, as you notice, I got confused. I was putting the gray blocks underneath it and then I look at the top, wait, if this is spinning, because now you gotta imagine that all of this is spinning, so you want the gray always to face in the right thing. And I noticed, so I needed to, again, uh, move things, fix them, put them in the right places and all that. Now, during this process, as you can see, uh, I keep hitting that build limit, and I just gotta keep destroying more of my walkways, more of my towns, more of my buildings, but that's okay, because I'm in the mindset that all of this, we're gonna restructure. Uh, we're gonna reframe all of this. All this village is gonna get re reframed, reworked. It's gonna look better than ever, right? Right now, they were all modeled, but now we're building our own things, right? And that's what's gonna be important. But as you can see, everything is getting better. And I, I do feel like this uh, particular design that we're doing is looking really good. I do have in mind another one, like I mentioned. I wanted to see if that looks better, maybe fits better the aesthetic that I'm trying to go with. But if not, if not, then it's gonna be this one. So if you like this one more than the next one, if 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 it actually works, then keep this one. And the great great thing about this is there's different ways to do it. You know, there it's not just this way. Uh, just be creative, try different things. Maybe as you're watching this, you get a new idea, and maybe you want to try that. So that's gonna be great. You know, uh, be be creative. You know, cause that's the exciting part about uh, Lego Lego Fortnite is how creative uh, we can be. Uh, okay, so as you can see, uh, we're expanding. Eventually, I did expand it a little bit more and then we added something extra because it still looked off to me. But as you can see, hitting the build limit, destroying more stuff. I left this in on purpose because I wanted you guys to see, like, it was like, oh my gosh. And then um, I'm waiting for the things to change and when things change, then I got more space. And I still, trying to understand, I, I'm getting different explanation from different people, how all of this work, if things are too close, if you've got too many pieces, it's, but it's poor square space area. And so this, this learning curve, unless it changes in the future, then I hope it does, that 
they let us be super creative like Minecraft and just build. Let us build, right? Uh, we understand that they have to be limited, but come on. Come on, we, we, we need a little more space. Okay, so, all right, so we finished the front. I, I clear more space. We're taking down part of that village. And now I gotta create the last section of the roof because we still need that little top. You know, that little top that's gonna give you a little separation from the windmill, right? And so I wanted to create something smaller, something a little more compact, you know, that way it's not the same way, just to give you that little top. And, and that's what we're gonna do. So I, I did the support beams over here. And then the trick was how to align this part. And again, when it comes to roofing, I already said it again, I'll say it again. It's trial and error. Uh, you don't know the formula, unless you're really good at math and you can memorize, like, and you can think on the spot, you know, and, and visualize and photo memory and all that, then you might be able to build quicker and click quicker. But, and, but for me, it's more trial and error. So I know I'm, I'm starting now with the corner pieces this time, you know, I'm like, okay, let me pull the corners. Let me see how the corners and what can I fit. And I'm like, okay, so the fourth one's too long, so that's not gonna work. So let me see if I can try the three, how's it looking and what do I need to move? And once I figured that out, so I figured things, I didn't like how they were hanging out here, so I wanted to put more on the inside. So let's see if we can put more on the inside and then what kind of smaller piece. And as you can see, it's all gonna be trying error, but once we find it, once we find it, we put it, we, we locked it in, and it's gonna be great. And then we got it. And then we got an amazing piece and we're gonna have amazing, an amazing roof over here. But it's all try and error, guys, trust me. Uh, try and error, be, be creative, be original, be, be excited for what you do. So right here, as you can see, I'm trying that one single piece. So I notice, okay, if I move that one single piece and I move this one just a little bit to the left, and then maybe move the other one just a little bit to the right, maybe I can fit this one and then it worked. And I was like, yes. And then on the other side, you use another different piece because of course one side is uh, wider than the other, you know? So, but that's the best part, you know, it's just figuring things out. But once you usually have one side done, then you can kind of start snapping things together. So as um, we're gonna start snapping one the other side, but I ran out of the bill limit again, building what you say, we take down a whole different section again, give us more room and, and you see, now we can continue building. So if, if you already got a lot of stuff built in your town, uh, two options. Know that you're gonna have to destroy, you know, have that in mind so you can be at peace. Or if you wanna be a little more elaborate now, you know, as you're following these videos, following these ideas, you wanna create something new, then start a brand new village, you know, and work slowly. Let's plan better, right? Uh, as we're learning, because this whole thing about LEGO Fortnite is being a learning curve, right? There were no instructions, <laughs> nothing was explained. They just drop us in this world and let you figure it out, right? And like like always, there's a lot of theories, there's a lot of explanation as we keep learning. And for me, you know, my 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 advice will be if you're trying to be a little more creative, then start start if you have already a lot of done, if you don't wanna tear and break anything down, I will say just start a brand new village somewhere you know, and slowly plan things out. And especially if you're gonna do big build, know that you can't put too many things close around it. You know, hopefully just enough, maybe a pass, uh, a little walkway to lead you to that area and to keep it just like that. But that's my advice for you. Okay, so now, as you can see, we are finishing the roof over here. We've put it a little platform. Now everything's looking good. We got the walls, we got everything. Now we got the height, everything's looking great. So now we gotta fix a lot of this stuff that broke when, the windmill <laughs> platform broke on the top. It broke so many things just going down, 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 down the road, right? So again, we're in survival. So there's only one way to do this is build ladders, get up there, fill it up, break it down, build ladders again, and go all around the building. Now, I mentioned it again, there's gonna be a part two of this video uh, because we're gonna do a little bit of the extra decorating some of the little extra stuff that I didn't get to do on this video part one because it was already long enough for a spill the video. It was already long enough, but to me it was important. I, I will say it again. Uh, it's not every video will not have all this extra, right? It will be more straight to the point, but I want to encourage you to not give up, you know? So I'm leaving a lot of the mistakes, a little bit of all the stuff out here that wasn't good, you know, that was uh, just a little complicated, you know, a little bit of frustration, a little things that they broke. That way you see that it's not perfect, you know? You may see the end result, you might have, you might have seen the video and you might have thought, man, 
he, that person, he can build. He can build so good and he made it look so easy. But, you know, I wanted you to know, you know, it, it takes time. It, 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 it is a fight. It is a battle, you know, but it's a good battle, you know. And if you're like me, if you love building, you love creating, you love designing, then there, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like this feeling of at the end, you accomplish what you wanted, right? And you got it done and it feels good when you don't give up. But as you can see, we added more details, just the stuff that it was missing that I never got to go around, at least for this particular uh, build, as you can see. Now, we're, we're getting so close. We're getting so, so close for this part one of the video. But as you can see, there was, I, I felt like the windmill, this, it wasn't long enough. So we're gonna extend it. We wanna make it a little bigger. I feel like I want it to be bigger. Now this is gonna be very subjective. You know, some windmills have, it, it, they're small. Some of them are real big and, and long and all that. So, you know, so those wings, you know, what's gonna turn, it's gonna be depending on what you like, you know? So uh, visualize it, see what you prefer. And, and you can extend it like I'm doing and add a couple more blocks and do it one block at a time just to make sure that you you feel like you got the, the right dimensions of it. But if not, then, you know, it's just building and then you just gotta break it down. But please be careful when you break things down. That way you don't break everything down, make sure you're hitting. But sometimes you think you're hitting, like it happened to me and it's not hitting the right spot and then and the whole thing comes coming down. But as you can see, everything's looking good. I do feel like we're adding this and then after I added this, I thought we had a good uh, uh, width and everything of this particular windmill. But then we added just a little bit more and, and, we, and we made like these little arrow shapes in, in the corners of, of the wings. And then it looks incredible. And I, I felt like that gave it that little last touch that it really needed. But like I mentioned earlier, after this, I started thinking, man, I think I... Oh, I started getting a new design and I don't want to build a whole windmill again just to try another design at this moment, you know, but, but look at this. Look how it's looking. Look how it's feeling. This looks great. You know, I feel like uh, we got something. It makes a statement, you know, in the village. Now, again, we're going to extend the farm. This is for the farming area. We, we might, we want to make this look really good. So, okay. So right here is what I was saying. I really want to make like this uh, little corners here feel uh, much better. So that's what we're gonna be working on right over here. So uh, I'm trying to get it to make it feel like it, it is a corner. So the best way I figured this is putting one like halfway down and then the other one's connecting and then they give us a little point going in this direction. I think that worked, I think that worked out great. You know, uh, just make it, uh, I will say just work it until it looks good to you. You know, uh, maybe, maybe it still looks off, uh, it's gonna be up to you, you know, I think, but I think that looks good. You know, I need to, I know the fresh air, right? I'm seeing it here. I think, feel like it looks good. Uh, but if it doesn't, then all right. Now I gotta decide. I don't know if I just forgot not watching this video. Maybe I forgot to put one more gray block because now it looks a little off. I may have to put one more. I need to try that out. And that's the thing with designing. It's always gonna be trial and error. Maybe you can make it work this way. Maybe it looks better the other way. And, and with Lego Fortnite, I will say yes. It's too bad that we can save. It's too bad that you can just try things. If you don't like it, load back your save file. So, but don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated. Just go ahead. If you don't like something and you think of something better, you know, as long as it's safe, you know, and it's not just destroying a whole thing because then might as well build something new, then give it a try. Give it a try. Try, try to see what you can do. And if you don't like it, yeah, you may spend another half hour on the bill to try to create something, but it's always so much more satisfied, satisfying when you can build something that you really want, right? The design, the aesthetic, the visualization, because don't forget at the very end of the day, designing is subjective because it's gonna be depending on what you like, who you are, bills are gonna represent who you are. So you may like this color, you may like this piece, you don't, you may not like, you may, may you may be watching this video right now and you're like, man, I wish it had this much brown, right? Because at the end, designing, building, decorating is all subjected to the person, right? And I want you to know that. And I want to encourage you that that's what, something that you need to always keep in mind, right? And when you're designing and you're building and you're playing your game and you're coming up with awesome ideas, please do not compare yourself to others, you know? Uh, Everybody is on a different level, different skill. You know, everybody builds different. You know, some people like super elaborate and you may be the type of person that loves super simple designs and that's totally okay. You know, uh, 
I love to design. I'm not the best person in the world, you know, but I, I love it. I love it. And I love creating things like this to inspire you. So like right here, what are we doing? We still got a little gaps, you know, and I'm using the fence, just the fence to hide this. Now I'm using this fence particular because it's already matching the barn area. And I really like that. So to me, this is important. I'm keeping, I want this barn and farming area to flow together, to feel like it's all connected to, it's all one. So I really like that. And again, I'm using a lot of brown. I, the pillars that I use with the, this, this little orange accent is on purpose because I, I really want it to match. Now, we are gonna add a little bit of white in different areas uh, just because I really want just to have a little contrast, but that's gonna be part two. I think part two is gonna be a fun one. Uh, it's not gonna be long as this one, but it's gonna be just adding those little extra design that we need. Okay, so the other part over here, as you can see, uh, I decided at the end that I wanted doors and that way we can go in and out for the future, just in case. Uh, I know what I want to do more, especially, and I don't want to reveal it just yet because I think it's going to be, I want to make sure that I can get it work. I don't want to get your hopes up, but there, there's something else that I want to do in the bottom part that I think is going to look really good, really amazing. So I can't wait to get to that, but, but let's walk around. Let's see what we build today. Now, it, it's effort. Don't give up. Uh, there's other amazing windmills out there that I've seen. You know, this is my version. This is my take. You know, I try to make it as simple as possible, just not complicated so you can follow along. But I really like the way, the height it is. I really like what we did with the roofing, you know, at least this particular one. And as we keep improving, we're going to make better roofs. But I really like how the aesthetic looks from the farm. Now, that cabin is going to go away. We're going to extend the farm. That's the next thing. And hopefully, by taking the barn, extending the, because I still want more crops, we're going to have a really cool piece back here. And then we're going to keep destroying the village that we already had on live stream and keep moving things around so everything flows better. But I really like what we have here. I think we did a really great job. I hope this inspires you to keep building, to keep just playing this amazing game that we call Lego Fortnite, right? And the most important guys part is, you know, if you're following this, if you take the inspiration, you know, copy it to the last details. Is that something that you need to do so you can practice and improve? And if you wanna make it your own, make it your own, you know? And look at this, this is what I wanted. I wanted to really stand out from any way and any platform and anywhere we look at it, I want it to be a beacon for this village and I think it looks fantastic. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.